Five years ago, China spent 30 billion to overcome all difficulties and built a railway specially for the African region. At that time, the United States laughed at China for having a lot of money but being stupid. Now that the performance of the railway operation has been exposed, China has made a fortune this time. Let's find out through this video. Tanzania-Zambia Railway in the New Era, the fifth anniversary of the opening of Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the BBS Chinese-built railway in Africa. Elton Road Initiative and the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway as a landmark project of the Belt and Road also ushered in the fifth anniversary of its opening and operation. In order to thank the railway for its outstanding contribution to Ethiopia, the Ethiopian government and the Chinese embassy in Ethiopia recently held the fifth anniversary celebration and locomotive medal awarding ceremony at the Addis Ababa Baraboo station in the capital. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is another cross-border railway built by China in Africa after the Tazara Railway. It is also the first cross-border electrified railway in Africa, with a total length of 752 kilometers, spanning the two countries in Africa and starting from the capital of Ethiopia in the West Addis Ababa, east to the port of Djibouti, is known as the Tanzara Railway in the New Era. Ethiopia is located in northeastern Africa and is the headquarters of the African Union. The train on the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway departs from Addis Ababa every day, and after running at a speed of 120 km per hour for more than six hours, it can reach the port of neighboring Djibouti. Ethiopia, a landlocked country, has become a landlinked country, which has greatly promoted the connectivity and economic development of the Horn of Africa region. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is not only the flagship project of China-Africa cooperation under the Belt and Road Initiative, but also the first overseas project integrating investment and financing, design, construction, main equipment materials, supervision, locomotives, and operation. An integrated whole industry chain and whole process Chinese transnational electrified railway project all of which use Chinese standards. In the past five years, the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway has operated 1,802 passenger trains, with a passenger volume of nearly 530,000 passengers, 6,179 freight trains, with a cargo volume of about 7.43 million tons, and a total operating income of about 980 million yuan. In 2022, the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway achieved a historic breakthrough in transportation revenue and reached break-even. In this regard, the United States said that China has made a lot of money this time. The purpose of building the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway However, the purpose of China's construction of this railway is not to make money, but to promote economic development in the African region. Ethiopia is the most populous country in East Africa, with a permanent population of more than 110 million. Although Djibouti has a population of less than 1 million, its geographical location is very economically significant, and it has one of the most important ports in Africa, the port of Djibouti. The two countries border each other and have very frequent material transportation and economic circulation. Before this railway was completed and opened to traffic, it took seven days to transport goods from Djibouti port, an important port in Ethiopia's neighboring country, to Ethiopia so that the advantages of port trade could not be reflected. Because of the high transportation cost, the economy of Djibouti port benefits cannot radiate to neighboring countries. If it weren't for China's righteous action, 
it would be impossible for Ethiopia and Djibouti to build such a modern railway with a length of more than 700 kilometers. These two countries lack both capital and technology. Originally, African countries wanted to find Western countries to help build the railway and hoped to build it first and then pay for it. The way to pay was to hand over the operating rights of the railway to the West. This method of repayment has great risks. Firstly, the long-term stability of the lending country must be ensured. Secondly, the creditworthiness of the lending country must be ensured. Thirdly, it needs to wait for a long time. These three points must be met to ensure that the railway project can pay back the cost. Now Western countries have looked down on the right to operate the railway and believe that helping Ethiopia to build the railway will not be able to get rich returns but also need to bear a lot of risks. So they resolutely refused, but at this time China stood up and took over the project. In just five years, this 752.7 kilometer long railway with an altitude span of more than 2,000 kilometers was completed in East Africa. With the opening of the only and the first standard gauge electrified railway in Africa between the two countries, the traffic efficiency of Ethiopia and Djibouti has increased by about 14 times compared to before. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway's role in promoting economic development. Since it began to be put into commercial operation in 2018, the operating income of this railway, which was originally not favored by European and American countries, has also grown rapidly. By 2019, it has increased by 45% year on year. Even in 2020, under the pressure of the epidemic, it can go against the current, achieving a 51% year-on-year increase in operating income in the first half of the year. If this development trend continues, it will not only be able to pay off China's loans, but also bring a lot of surplus to the local area. Not to mention the economic benefits brought by the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway to Ethiopia. Compared with the early 21st century when the GDP growth rate was often negative, Ethiopia's average annual growth rate from 2013 to 2017 reached more than 10%. Known as Little China in Africa. In the past few years, they have vigorously promoted infrastructure construction, developed industry and commerce, and are inseparable from the transportation convenience provided by the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. After the railway is completed, it is of great value to the economic development of Ethiopia and Djibouti. The role of railway infrastructure in promoting China-Africa cooperation is beyond doubt. Relying on the Algeria-Djibouti Railway, now China has established trust with Ethiopia and Djibouti, and it is very convenient to carry out various cooperation on the basis of trust. In the future, China will invest in the construction of hotels, tourism, industrial parks and other projects in Ethiopia for both parties said to be a win-win situation. Commercial operation of the Algeria-Djibouti Railway So when will China pay back the cost of the Algeria-Djibouti Railway that China spent 30 billion to build for Africa? To answer this question, it is necessary to understand the cooperation model between China and Ethiopia. The Chinese side adopts the 6 plus 2 model, that is, China will operate and maintain the railway within six years after the railway is operational and provide an additional two years for technological development. This also means that the Algeria Djibouti Railway adopts Chinese standards in terms of technology and train management and operation. This model can not only promote the economic development of Ethiopia, Russia and Djibouti, but also enhance the trust between the two countries, which cannot be measured by money. Statistics show that the Algeria-Djibouti Railway opened for commercial operation in 2018, 
and the tourism industry contributed 7.4 billion US dollars to the local economy in that year alone. By 2021, the transportation revenue has reached more than 86 million US dollars. 70% of the funds for the Ethiopian section of the Djibouti Railway and 85% for the Djibouti section are commercial loans from the Export-Import Bank of China, so the two sides can also pay through the amount of import and export trade, while coffee, gold and oil in Ethiopia are all is the main export commodity. It is understood that the bilateral trade volume between China and Ethiopia in 2020 was 2.572 billion US dollars, and the trade volume in 2021 has reached 2.66 billion US dollars. According to this trade volume, it is believed that China will be able to pay back in a few years. China's leading position and development prospects in African infrastructure. Kenya is also very concerned about the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, and after the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, Kenya's Mombasa Nairobi Railway project is also in full swing. China not only took over the first East African Railway, but also the second one. The Mombasa Nairobi Railway adopts the same Chinese standards as the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway has become a model for Chinese brands on the African continent, demonstrating China's inclusive and friendly attitude and infrastructure strength in Africa. Although Western countries have been entrenched and developing in Africa for a longer period of time, China still has broad prospects for development in Africa. China needs to establish economic ties with Africa in a down-to-earth manner, so as to win the trust and support of the African people in the long run. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.